All right, I'm Megan Bibbler. I'm here for the introduction follow-up activity. We are doing an ATTR um, 810. So during our readings, we are looking at the risk factors. I guess what the main thing I took away from that is in undergrad, I learned about risk factors, of course, and I learned um, you know the intrinsic and extrinsic factors. But reading this, I kind of got a whole new outlook on you know, everything go that goes into it, the odds of the factors, the injury hazard. Um, so it definitely was eye-opening how many things that do play a part in all these injury risk factors when I was really just thinking of the intrinsic and extrinsic factors. Um, the way I could use the Miss Wise model for sports injury, um, I think I use it pretty much anyways in my daily practice. I just don't use it as... Um, like writing it down and really focusing on it. So when I'm watching sports, I'm like, okay, these kids, they're about 14 to 18. Um, this is high-level soccer. That's who I'm with right now. Uh, it's hot outside. But these are women. Um, but I look at all these factors and I realize them, but I don't ever really actually put that into play, like starting them off on a um, program for strengthening or seeing how – they are doing in their dynamic warm-ups and stuff, so I think that's how I want to um, start using risk factors into my practice is really, okay, let's write this down, let's see what this player is doing, and let's get them started on a new program. So the readings were definitely very eye-opening, and I would love to start this in my practice.